Hey guys, Proper English here. I just wanted to record a uh, quick little intro because yesterday I tried to upload this video as one entire part, but it turns out that I can't upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes yet. So I had to uh, take it and split it into two parts, and that's why you're getting it today in two parts. The first part is going to deal with two types of notation called sign magnitude and one's complement. And in the second part, you'll, uh, you'll see two's complement. All right, so I hope you check both of them out and, uh, and enjoy. Hey guys, Proper English here. Today we're going to continue our lesson in binary by talking about how to represent negative numbers in a binary system. There are three main ways to do this, called sign magnitude, one's complement, and two's complement. All right, so you know those names might sound a little, little fancy, but, but don't worry. I think you'll pick up on it really quickly. It's not, not as bad as you might think. And, uh, and yeah, so all three of those ways are used um, in real life. And I've actually used all three uh, of, of those types of notation in Minecraft for, for different purposes. And I'll talk a little bit about what I've used each for and, uh, and the, the pros and cons of, of each notation. All right, so let's get started. So first, let's talk about sign magnitude notation. Now, before we get into what sign magnitude notation means, let me familiarize you with some of the terms that I'll be using. So if you remember from my previous video, in binary, we're talking powers of two for our places. So we've got a ones place, a twos place, and a fours place in a three bit system, or a three place system. I, I just slipped up there and called them bits, but that's what I'm gonna talk to you about now, so it's all right. So, as I just said, right now we're going to start calling these bits. And so this would be the one bit, the two bit, and the four bit. The one bit has the lowest value out of all, each of these bits, so we're gonna call that the least significant bit. The four bit has this, the highest value out of these three bits, and we're gonna call that the most significant bit. And I think that's everything that you're gonna to need to know for today in terms of words that I'll be throwing around. Now, in sign magnitude notation, what we're going to do is we're going to take the most significant bit and we're gonna say it no longer represents a magnitude. This doesn't represent four anymore. This represents positive or negative. So the one and the two are still magnitude bits and that tells you the number the uh, or the the number value the uh, the most significant bit is now a sign bit and that tells you the sign so let's take a look at how that works so with zero the sign bit is off so we're going to call an uh, the sign bit when it's off we're going to call that positive and then both magnitude bits are off so that's a zero if we come over to one well we see the sign bit is off so that's a positive one and we see that the one bit is on and the two bit is off, so positive one. Now, let's jump over to a negative one and do a comparison first before we get into anything else. So for negative one, now we see the sign bit is on, but the, uh, the magnitude bits are the same for negative one as they are for one. So it's just the sign bit that tells us whether the number is positive or negative, and you can see that for any of these. So Let's look at three. In three, we've got the magnitude as one plus two, and the sign bit is off, so that's a, a, a positive three. If we come down to negative three, now it's still one plus two in the magnitude, giving us a value of three, but the sign bit is on, so it's telling us that this number is negative. Now, there's one weird part with, uh, with sign magnitude, and that's the fact that you can get a negative zero. And a negative zero would be the sign bit is on, and then both magnitude bits being off. And that's sort of sort of weird. Um, that's not something that's not something that's desirable. And uh, and we're getting, we're not going to worry about it too much because you're probably not going to be using sign magnitude for uh, for any applications. I just thought it would be uh, something to talk about. I actually have used sign magnitude in one of my builds. Um, there's a type of notation called floating point, which is uh, awesome. I'll teach you guys about it uh, eventually. And I built a floating point adder subtractor. And, um, 
And in floating point, you represent your, your numbers using sine magnitude, uh, as opposed to the other two methods that, that I'm about to talk about. So yeah, that's our first way of telling whether a number is positive or negative. So not too bad. Let's start. Let's uh, let's jump into the next one now, and we're we're gonna do uh, one's complement. One's complement is actually pretty straightforward, um, and it's really not too hard to uh, to learn. So let's let's take an example here. So let's look at one again. So in one, we've got the most significant bit off. Then we've got another bit off, and we've got the one bit on. All right, so that's the value of one. Now, if we want to represent one in one's complement, all we're going to do is we're going to invert each of these. So let's jump over to that, and you can see that in uh, in one's complement, a negative one is one one zero. So that's that's uh, that's the direct opposite of uh, of one in of of the positive one. So a positive one is zero zero one, a negative one is one one zero, and it's the same for all the other numbers. Let's look at two. Zero one zero is a positive two. A one's complement negative two is one zero one. Then three, you can see it's. 0, 1, 1 as a positive 3, and a negative 3 is going to be 1, 0, 0. Now, 1's complement has the same sort of issue that sine magnitude does. Um, so in 1's complement, you've got a positive 0, which is 0, 0, 0. But if you invert that, you get a negative 0. That's 1, 1, 1. And again, that's something that's undesirable. Uh, it actually limits the range of one's complement a little bit. And uh, yeah, we just we don't really want to deal with a negative zero. Now, I have used one's complement before, and I know if Redstone Warrior watches this, he'll be he'll be laughing because we've had uh, we've had arguments over whether or not to uh, implement one's complement or two's complement in an ALU, and I'm always, always, always for the two's complement, and uh, and sometimes he likes to use one's complement in the ALUs, and and uh, and yeah, so so yeah, Redstone, I have used one's complement. I admit it. I know you're gonna give me crap for it later today or something, but yeah, so that's one's complement. All you're doing is inverting the number. It's it's really really straightforward. So let's just take one more look. A one in uh, so a positive one in one's complement is zero zero one. Then if we invert that, we get a negative one. So that's one one zero. Yeah. So not too bad. Now finally, let's get into the uh, the most useful and the best notation uh, for for negative numbers. Two's complement. 